so here we are going to talk about the pediculosis capitans or laos so it is the parasitic insect living in here so it is an infestation of hair and scalp with louts. The most common site of involvement are the occipital area behind the ear, at the nap of neck, and occasionally the eyebrows and eyelash. The female louts lay her eggs on the uh, hair stiff or shift close to the skull the incubation period seven to ten days and headlights allows can survive 48 hours away from the host and the head louts live and reproduce only on human and are transmitted by direct or indirect contact such as sharing of the brushes, heart, towel, or bedding. All contact of the infested child should be examined for louse infestation and referred for the treatment as prescribed. So the basic pathology, the contact with infected person lead to the transmission of parasite from one individual to another. So the risk factor sharing the cloth or heart or close contact with the infected person. So now what are the uh, assessment findings of pediculosis capitis? The most of the patient present with the uritis of the skull or visible louse or um, nits or louse egg in the air. Some books said if it is look like rights, it could be louse. The child scr um, scratch the scalp excessively. Puritus is caused by the uh, crawling insect and insect saliva on the skin and neat or eggs are observable on the hair shift and adult louse are difficult to see and appear as small uh, tan or grayish sperm which may be move very quickly so what are the intervention first of all we have to diagnosis it diagnosis the clinical assessment mm -hmm. and we use the uh, pediculicide product as prescribed follow the package instruction for timing application and for contraindications for their use in case of children the patient is instructed to shampoo the scalp and hair according to the product directions or pediculosis um, capitals or pubis capitals. The patient is instructed to bath with the soap and water and after which they should use the linden or 5% or 1% parmethin, right, is applied to the affected area of the skin and hair area. So they said daily remove hmm, with an extra fine tooth metal comb should be done as a control the measure after the use of pediculicide product. Gloves should be on uh, for removal of the knit or also hair brush or comb should be discarded or soaked in the boiling water for 10 minutes. Also reinforce the instruction to the parents that sibling may also need treatment. Grooming the items are not to be shared and a single comb or brush should be used for 
each individual child and reinforce the instructions to the parents that bedding, clothing used by the child should be changed daily. Also, uh, laundry is in hot water with detergent and also hot dryer for 20 minutes. So reinforce the instruction to the parents that non-essential bedding or clothing can be stored in a tight seal bag for two weeks and then wash. Reinforce the instruction to the parents to seal the toy that cannot be washed or dry clean in a plastic bag for two weeks. What else? Also reinforce instruction to the parents that furniture or carpet must be vacuumed frequently and that the dust bag from vacuum should be discarded after vacuuming. Reinforce the teaching the parents and the child not to share the clothing, headwear, brushes or comb. So the treatment basically physical removal of louse with a uh, comb or medication we call parmethin 5% or other medication uh, medicated shampoo sometimes very useful. So it is very important examine or treat the whole family. Wash the cloth in a hot water and dry with a high heat. Also seal non-washable items like pillow or yet tight bags for two weeks, right? So reinforce the teaching the parents and child not to share and louds of the eyelash or eyebrow may have to be removed manually. So this is very basic information about the parasitic insect living in the hair we call pediculosis capitas.